Welcome to the December edition of Library and Media Technology Tidbits. This month, we're going to talk about NC Wise Owl. I'm Jennifer Northrop, the Western Region Digital Teaching and Learning Consultant and the NC Wise Owl Support Person. By now, I'm sure you're familiar with all the great resources that NC Wise Owl has to offer. Today, I'm going to share with you some new things that we have going on with NC Wise Owl, as well as some tips and tricks. From the NC Wise Owl homepage, you've probably noticed a new link here at the bottom. That links to our NC Wise Owl toolkit. Let's take a look. One of the very first things you're going to notice on our NC Wise Owl toolkit is our new logo. We're really excited about the facelift for our NC Wise Owl. You'll be seeing this soon on the website as well, so be on the lookout for website changes in the near future. Basically, this starts out with some basic information that you might be interested in about the history of NC Wise Owl. You'll also find my contact information here at the bottom. On the side, you're going to notice links to promotional materials, technical support, tutorials, and Wise Owl Wednesdays. Let's take a look at promotional materials. If you're looking for ways for students and staff to get excited about all that NC Wise Owl has to offer, promotional materials is a great place to start. For each of our resources, you're going to see various items that they have available for you and your schools. These include things like flyers or bookmarks, and it covers a large list of information. So we really encourage you to take a look and share these resources with others at your school. The next thing we want to take a look at is the technical support page. And on the technical support page, you're going to find information to share with your LEA or charter school technology department. This gives directions on how to make sure that your IP addresses are registered so that students don't have to enter the password on campus. So if you find that as you use NC Wise Out that all the resources require a password, all you have to do is have your technology department register the IP address with us and then it will no longer require that password except for when they're off campus. So it really makes access a lot easier. And if you have questions about that, please don't hesitate to contact me. Let's take a look now at the tutorials. Tutorials on the toolkit help you understand better how to use the resources available from NC Wise Owl. So each one of these links takes you to more information so that you're better prepared to help students and teachers utilize these resources. Now let's go to Wise Owl Wednesdays. I'm really excited about Wise Owl Wednesdays. This is a great opportunity for people to learn more about how to use NC Wise Owl as well as the resources that are available. And on this very first page, you're going to notice that we have a calendar that includes various webinars that take place on our Wise Owl Wednesdays. And for November, we actually had two. November 4th, we had Flipping Out and STEM and STEAM resources. And I'll show you how to find those archived webinars in a minute. And let's take a look at December. Um, December 2nd, we have multilingual features by EBSCO. So that's something that, you know, we have some for each month. So I encourage you to go back and take a look um, so that you can register for these webinars and learn lots more information about how to use these resources. And if you want to see the webinar Wednesday um, list, you can just go down here and click the ones by Britannica and the ones by EBSCO. And then I've also included links to other webinars. So these aren't specific to NC Wise Owl, but you can still get that information. Um, they have a lot of great resources for you. Archive webinars are down here at the bottom, so when you click on that, you'll be sure to see uh, the, the ones we've already had, so they're already linked. So go back and take a look so that you can learn about all that NC YSL has to offer. And then here at the bottom, if you're on Twitter, I really encourage you to follow the hashtag NCWowEd. So that's NCYSL Wednesdays, um, every Wednesday during the school year, except for over holidays. We have various tweets that give information about NC Wise Out, and we would love to hear how you use NC Wise Out with your schools as well. 
So from our main site, www.nzwiseout.org, you're probably very familiar with the different zones that we have available. And on each of these, you are probably aware that we have links that are appropriate for that age level. We're going to take a look at the elementary school zone first. And in the elementary school zone, you're going to see probably some resources you've used before, Search a Source and Kids Search. And probably around mid-December, these two links are going to disappear. So you need to be aware that you will no longer be using Searchosaurus and Kids Search. But never fear, Explora right here, which is already linked and ready for use, will be replacing those two resources. And I just wanted to give you a quick look at Explora. You'll notice that it's got a little bit more friendly interface, um, you know, very appealing to students, very bright, and there are some subject area links already here for them. So I just really encourage you to take a look at it and get familiar with it as you make that transition from Searchosaurus and um, Kids Search into Explora. Also listed in our elementary zone right here, you'll see a link for PBS videos, and you're going to see that in our other zones as well. Uh, just be aware that we get this resource um, with the cooperation of NC Live. That's the only resource that overlaps. And if you do not have your IP registered, then you will be prompted to put in, of course, the username and password. But that's going to be for this resource only. That would be public library. Uh, login information. So if you make sure you have your IPs registered, then you can be sure that PBS videos are going to open up on campus without a password. And just to make sure you're aware, there was a password change. And I know I get a lot of emails about people who maybe haven't heard that information. And I really encourage you to maybe touch base with your technology director or instructional technology coordinators or other media coordinators in your district who may be able to help you with that password. We've shared it in multiple avenues. Um, if you're not connected with our Edmodo group for school library media coordinators and instructional technology facilitators, you can contact either myself or Kathy Parker to get the join code because that information was shared there as well. Um, but we want to make sure you're able to connect in as many ways as possible. Now let's take a look at the middle school zone. So in the middle school zone, you're going to also notice a link for Explora, and we've added that to the high school zone as well. And for middle and high school, that's going to replace this student research link. So please be aware, middle of December, you're no longer going to have access to student research either. You're going to need to use Explora. So just kind of make a note of that So for future reference that you're aware. Other resources that you're going to find in, in some of our other zones as well include our ebook collection. And ebooks can be read online. And there's also an app available now so that you, if you have an iPad or other tablet, that you can download that app and check out ebooks. So we really encourage you to um, get that information out to your teachers and students so that they can be checking out from that ebook collection. And if you need some help with that process, be sure to let me know. I'm glad to help you with that. Now let's go into our high school zone. And in our high school zone, you're going to see some additional links here um, that just hit on science or social studies or literature. And within those, you're going to find some additional databases. So sometimes you might skip over those and not realize there are some awesome resources available. For instance, in science, you're going to find our Science Reference Center, Science Encyclopedia, Social Studies. You're going to find Points of View, a Topic Search, Military and Government. Let's look at Specialized Databases. That's going to include our Auto Repair Center and our Small Engine Repair, Legal Reference Center, Military and Government. So there are so many resources here available for you. The next zone I want to take a look at is the professional zone. And within the professional zone, you're going to find links to many of the resources that you see in the other zones. But something I want to point out that I just recently added because I think it'll make life a little bit easier for you is this publication finder. And so that allows you to connect directly to different magazines that maybe you have an interest in or that you want to share with students. 
So once you're in the publication finder, you can see, of course, all the different resources by discipline, for instance. But let's say that I was looking for scholastic math. I wanted to use that with a class, perhaps. And I want to look at Scholastic Math Magazine, and I can look at just the one for students, or I can look at the teacher's edition. Okay, I'm going to then look at Full Text Access. And I want to click Middle Search Plus because that's where it originates. And then I connect to all the publication details for Scholastic Math. And what you're going to see over here are all the different issues. So for 2015, I can see every issue that was published in 2015. Another great resource is so that you don't constantly have to come back and check to see when a new magazine is released. If you click on Share, you can get either the persistent link, which you can copy and paste, which will take you directly back to this page. You can create an email alert, or you can add it to an RSS feed. So this is a really great way for you to use magazines in your classroom. Um, they're available for you at no charge through NCYSL, so please, please take advantage of this. And again, I access, access that information from the publication finder that's linked on the professional zone. Now, I also want to encourage you to take a look at ebooks. So, there are several professional ebooks available through our ebook collection. So, be sure to take advantage of that as well. If you're in the ebook collection, you can see all these different categories. And if you're specifically interested in education, you click on education. And then you can see all the different ebooks that are available. You can, of course, narrow your search and find things that are relevant of interest to you. I also want to point out that on many of our pages, you're going to see this link to the Division of Digital Teaching and Learning, and that's going to take you to our divisions page. And I'm going to show you how to find the various contact information located on that page. So once you're here, what you really need to be aware of is the Digital Teaching and Learning directory. And from that directory, you can find out who your regional consultant is. So because we don't have a person specifically dedicated to NCYS Al um, for the state who's not responsible, responsible for other areas as well, now each regional consultant handles um, doing various professional development opportunities. So if your district is interested, you know, have district contacts, reach out to these individuals so that you can schedule some professional development, maybe for a group of media coordinators, and I'm sure they'll be glad to help you. Thank you so much for joining me for today's Library and Media Technology Tidbits. I hope I was able to give you a couple of pieces of information that were new to you about NCYSL. I also want you to be on the lookout because we'll soon be sending out directions about how you can integrate um, the various resources available from NCYSL through your OneSearch and Destiny. So there will be information about that to come very soon. And thank you so much and have a great day.